Hey guys, Matt here again for udesley.com. In this video we are going to touch up on the Webflow audio player that we have recently launched on udesley.com. What this allows you to do is create a completely custom audio player on inside of your Webflow project. And by completely custom, I mean everything down to the colours, fonts and icons as well. So if you watched the previous video, we went over the video player. That allows you to do the exact same thing as the audio player. So once you've purchased the audio player, what you want to do is simply clone the Webflow project. And then once you have cloned the project there, you're greeted with a couple designs here for single track and multi-track. So what you can do is you can simply click on this wrapper, copy that and paste it inside of your existing Webflow project. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use this page here. What you want to do is go to the page settings, scroll all the way down, and then you want to paste in the script there that you provided in the document when you purchase the audio player. And then what we need to do is we need to select the wrapper again, go to the settings, and we need to insert our audio track there. So you can find any audio track you want. I found one here from Audio Jungle. I'm going to just copy that and paste it inside of there. So to configure the multi-track one, you can select on the wrapper and paste in your link there as well. But for any other tracks, you need to add a comma and then paste in another link there and save it like so. And then that'll allow you to have two tracks on there, for example, instead of one. And of course, this has been designed like so, so you can actually have the next and previous track buttons enabled. So what I'm going to do is hit publish. And then when we visit this page, you can see that the audio player works perfectly. Now, of course, we don't have any metadata on this audio file, so the artwork and track name aren't appearing, hence why they have been disabled. But if you do populate your metadata before you upload the audio track, all the metadata like the album art and the track name will appear like it should do. And to modify all of these, just remember you can select on any of them and change any of the style attributes. So if I want to change the icon as well for this repeat, for example, I can simply replace that to any icon I see fit. But you've got ultimate control to change the size, position, anything of this. Just simply mess about with it as if you would create a normal element inside of Webflow. So there you go. That is the audio player for Webflow. Remember, we have a, the Udesley community group on Facebook. You can go ahead and quite happily join that if you want to stay up to date with any of the latest news from Udesley. Or if you're stuck on certain bits and you want some help, we are quite active on there and I do try my best to reply to as many of you as possible. So just fire your comments and queries inside of there and I'll happily get in touch where, when I can. If you need some help and support, we do have the help centre as well, so you can go ahead and submit your ticket there. Anyway, my name has been Matt. I hope you got all the best from this video tutorial and I'll catch you guys in the next one.